Life after death. Do you believe in life after death? Quite often, I notice that the topic of death is surrounded by stupid assumptions, stupid prejudices, and even outright fear. Let's not take the death for dummies approach, but rather look at this phenomenon from all angles in order to try to understand the important role that death plays in our lives. To understand how it can teach us how to live. If we consider only the human body, ultimately, death takes possession of each of us. As far as I know, not a single living being has escaped death. Even if we create new bodies for ourselves and find a way to transfer consciousness into them, there is no reason to believe that these bodies will live forever, even with frequent updates. We can delay death, albeit for a very long time, but in the end our physical existence will be interrupted by something. Eternity is too much for us as material beings. No backup system is 100% guaranteed, especially if the adversary is infinity of time. On average, over 150,000 people on the planet die in one day. That's two people per second. Over a million corpses a week. And this is not unusual for our planet. Does this fact give an idea of the scale of various tragedies? If 3,000 people disappear at once, that's only 2% of the daily total. Not too many by the standards of the whole world. Now the worst. You don't know when you're going to die, unless you're reading this article before committing suicide, I won't dwell on that. But I hope you don't have a die item in your diary or notebook. How does it feel to know that this day could be the last day of your life? For 150,000 people today this will become a reality, and if you are among them, you will have a great company. I wonder how many of these people are ready for what awaits them. What do we know awaits us after death? Instead of retelling near-death stories and talking about religions, let's look at the problem from a different angle. Let's change the question. What, how can we reliably say, does not await us after death? Obviously, authentic, varies from person to person, depending on environment and beliefs, but I think many will agree with some general observations. First, you can't take anything with you. All material things remain here. When someone dies, we may notice that their belongings remain in the physical world. They don't suddenly disappear. Secondly, our physical bodies remain here. Including our heart, lungs, brain, tattoos, etc. It can also be said that if our material things remain here, then all the knowledge and skills developed in the physical world will become unnecessary after death. Your knowledge of HTML probably won't find any use in the afterlife, unless dead computers, like my old Atari 800, make it there. I hope you still remember BASIC. If we manage to keep some of our belongings after death, it would be reasonable to consider that this does not concern material things or physical bodies. And most of our knowledge is also not useful. So if we can take something with us, it will be of a non-physical nature. It's about our consciousness. You can call it whatever you like, soul, spirit, etc. The exact term is not so important. I use the term, consciousness, 